Okay, so one common reaction when someone finds out that their friend creates YouTube videos would be, Oh my god, that's so cringe. Is he trying to be a YouTuber? This reaction tends to surface if he or she that creates YouTube videos doesn't have a huge following. On the other hand, if that friend has a following of 100k followers, the common reaction would be, Wow, that person is famous. That's amazing. I'm not trying to pluck reactions out of thin air and say that everyone is like that, but I can confidently say that such reactions exist, and that's because I used to be one of them. I used to think that creating videos, talking to a camera are not for everyone. Those that are meant to create videos, in terms of people's impression of them, are meant to do it, while those that are more introverted, shy, doesn't have the presence in front of the camera, are cringy if they still decided to do so. It wasn't until I myself am in the shoes of the latter that I gained the ability to empathize with them. I am that introverted person without all that bubbly personality that you often see from creators that are good in front of the camera. However, it just so happens that I enjoy the whole process of creating YouTube videos, ranging from the scripting all the way to the editing. I'm not exactly the best at talking in front of the camera. Camera. But it's one of the outlets that this platform has given me to share my thoughts and experience with others to learn from. With that conflicting personality of an introverted guy that loves to create YouTube videos, I basically contradicted myself and became who I initially judged. I know that not everyone thinks this way, that there are also a group of people out there that doesn't care if their friends create YouTube videos and doesn't think it's cringy. But we also have to acknowledge the existence of people who do think this way. In my past couple of videos, I've talked about how we shouldn't share too much about what our dreams and goals are in order to avoid negativity especially to our loved ones. It doesn't matter whether they mean it or not. But the truth is that any forms of negativity that you hear are potential roadblocks in you trying to reach your goals. You may have loved ones that really care about you, but because of that, they may try to deter you away from what you set out to do because they want you to be realistic and stop wasting time chasing a dream that may never come true. But isn't that exactly what dreams meant? That dreams are always going to be seemingly impossible? That's exactly the reason why people feel that sense of fulfillment when they work on chasing their goals. It doesn't matter what sort of reaction others would give. Whether they think it's cringy, judgmental, or even being supportive. There's no point in wasting your brain power to analyze the what ifs. It's just easier to not share anything about your goals and dreams and just let the results do the talking. That's exactly why I simply do not share anything about my YouTube journey with my friends or loved ones. Sharing your goals too much also gives you the satisfaction as if you have already achieved it. We all know how it feels like when we share our goals and dreams with our friends and family. I want to be able to complete a full marathon. I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to earn more money. It makes us happy when we share everything that we set out to do, that dopamine makes it feel satisfying. However, that satisfaction that we feel also lowers our motivation and drive to actually work on achieving them, which is why oftentimes you hear so much of that one friend that talks so much about wanting to achieve something, but was never able to see the result of what he said he wants to achieve. He drained all his drive to work on his dream since he already got a satisfaction out of sharing his goals with everyone. Yes, what you set out to do, what your dreams are regardless of what they are, could seem cringy. That's a fact. Humans are just judgmental sometimes, no matter who they are. You can't stop it. That's exactly why envy is one of the seven daily scenes. People envy those that are at the very top, and a part of some humans just doesn't want others around them to succeed. If these people don't say all these things, they will think of it, that's for sure. And that's where you have to understand this. All these actions of other people are external factors that you have absolutely no control over. The only thing that is absolute, that you have control over, is yourself. If you can't control others, why are you controlling yourself to submit to something that hasn't even materialized? They may think what you're doing is a waste of time, that is cringy and weird. But before they even said anything, or even if they do, you already held yourself back on what you genuinely want to do. Life is too short to think about what others think. Don't you agree? The time that you spent caring about what they thought of you could have been spent on working towards your goals. And this ties in closely to the spotlight effect. That everyone thinks that the spotlight is on them 24-7, and everyone is looking at each and every one of their moves. But in reality, no one really cares, and oftentimes, they are too busy caring about themselves than on you, regardless on whatever side your mind picks on, on whether you think people care or don't care about what you do. Does it matter? I've just attended a funeral of a good friend of mine, and I still remember him telling me what are the things that he wants to do, the country that he wants to go, what are his plans for his family. There are so many things that he wants to do, but it doesn't really matter anymore after he lost his battle with cancer. It serves as a huge reminder to me that life is so short. The times that I've held back myself because of what others think, does it really matter once I'm on my deathbed breathing my last cup of breaths? The regret at that point wouldn't be something like, I should have held myself back more, otherwise people would judge or make fun of me. The only thing that you would think of at that point it's about the things that you did not do. Creating videos is cringy. Chasing your goal is weird. Does it really matter? Everyone is going to leave this world someday, including those that you think will judge you. Have that something that you have always wanted to do but afraid of what others think? Think of it this way. The only thing that you should be afraid of are the things that you did not do.